Hello everyone. Well, we're here in Estoril. It's not the uh, it's not the warmest. It's a little bit cold as well. We have the new BMW S1000RR here. This is the M Sport model, which looks phenomenal. Unbelievable looking thing. Can't wait to ride it. I'm going to get to ride it later. I did ride one last year, but we won't tell anyone that. It's a pre-production model. But I thought I'd do a little video. You've been hearing a lot recently about the shift cam technology that's in the new engine. So this is the cylinder head with the camshafts. Now, if you look at the camshafts here, you can see anyone with any kind of uh, engineering knowledge, there's two lobes here and here. One's basically like a soft cam and one's a hard cam. So one's for low revs and one's for high revs. Basically with normal engines you can run um, a soft cam which will get you lots and lots of torque off the bottom end but then you compromise top end performance. Um, or you can run a, a hard cam which will give you high end performance uh, but then compromises all your low end torque and performance there. So. With the shift cam technology, what they're basically doing is giving you the best of both worlds. So as the revs rise up, you'll be on the soft cam, and then when they come to above 9,000 RPM, they'll go onto uh, the hard cam. So how they do it, they're running this solenoid here, which I'll take this off, and you can see there's two pins. There's one this side and one this side. Uh, and this is the whole solenoid that sits on the top of the, top of the engine. If I look in here, I'm gonna just spin it around. Hopefully you can see the grooves. There you go, that's what the pins are going to drop into and actually move uh, the cam across. So if I drop that back in, on this side, it's, this is the pin. So that, that's the pins that you can see from underneath. Um, and they basically sit in one side or the other side. There's two pins, it works on a magnet. So at the minute, as, as we roll the cams over, that's what's set in that position. When it's been asked to move, you can see, that you can see the pin lifting up and dropping back down again. Uh, basically gets dropped in at that point and when it lifts back up the magnet catches it and pulls it back out of the way So the cam's moved over and it leaves it there when it wants to move to the other side It will drop the pin the other side into it now watch the cam So as I pull this around now the cam will move from one moves over onto the other lobe Which is pretty clever very simple and then what happens obviously is that lifts again It will move it out of the way so once it's there looks once the pins out of the way it just stays there and again, it will drop it back in this side and it will move the cam back the other way, just like that. So that's what's going to be happening at 9,000 RPM one way or another as you go up and down the rev range, which is quite unbelievable. It's, it's such a simple idea and yet extremely clever at the same time. I don't know why it's not been used before. Basically as well, um, saying basically a lot, um, this actually happens, this pin gets dropped in three milliseconds, that's the time it has, so the cam's spinning that fast, um, it's got three milliseconds to be able to move uh, the camshaft over and if it finds that it's actually taking a little bit longer than three milliseconds it will pull it back out of the way and next, wait for the next cam revolution um, to move across. Now my question was, or one of my many questions was, um, why have we got two? Uh, and quite simply, that's, uh, that's to do with, depending on where the pistons are and where the cams are sitting at the time, they'll either use one side or the other side to move one way or another way. Uh, yes, John mentioned 9,000 revs. It's ridiculous how fast it's actually going to move over. Um, but yeah, so it's three milliseconds. That's all, it, they're gonna, that's all they give it to move over. I love watching that. I can watch that all day, you know. I've been doing it all morning. Look at that. So simple. Yet so clever. Now I'll just show you this again. In the top. This is the this is how the, the moving the cam across from one way to another. All from this solenoid. There are the two pins. I know I'm repeating myself, but for people that have just joined on there, there's your pins one side and the other. That sits in the top. And 
that's simply dropping the pin either one side or the other to move that cam from one side, soft cam and then hard cam. Simple as that. Why hasn't it been done before? Who knows? Anyway, hopefully it's going to dry up. I'm here until Thursday, but uh, at the minute it's not very nice. Do the electric scooter there as well. Anyway, see you later. Ciao.